What is self-care? How will self-care support my life? When I first became aware of my self-care crisis, my definition of self-care was simply getting up in the morning, eating, getting ready for work, and once a month or so I take myself out to a movie. Well, today my definition of self-care is the ability to live life on my own terms. So then the next question is, how do you live your life on your own terms? Well, to live life on my own terms, I need to have a great relationship with myself. To have a great relationship with myself requires self-awareness, self-responsibility, and self-acceptance. In other words, I need to know myself. Now, when I started my self-care journey, I didn't know how important awareness, responsibility, and acceptance were going to be in developing a self-care consciousness and actually practicing self-care. See, adopting a lifestyle within the context of a self-care consciousness will allow you to maintain equilibrium, experience a greater sense of serenity, and help you feel more comfortable in your own skin. Because self-care is about honoring yourself by giving yourself permission to embark on a journey of self-discovery. Now, the gentle art of self-care and self-healing is a philosophy. It's a practice. It's a set of principles and a framework. And, really, it's an inspired way of living life on your own terms. So, I'd like to walk you through each of these five aspects of the gentle art of self-care and self-healing, which I think will help to answer the question, how will self-care support my life? Well, the gentle art of self-care and self-healing is a philosophy, like I said, a way of living. It's a way to view yourself in your life and a set of personal beliefs, which is the way that we access and apply our intuition, access our higher self, and to light our path uh, on the path of self-discovery. And for any philosophy to be practical, we have to be able to apply it and practice it. The truth is, it only takes one simple idea or concept to totally change my perspective. And without a way to put it into practice and live it, well, it's just not practical. And why would I invest the time, effort, and energy to do it? So the other reason it's taken me four years to figure out you know, how to share this transformational philosophy is figuring out the how. In other words, what does it take to live it? How do I integrate self-care into my life? How do I practice it? That's the way I like to think of it, is how do I practice self-care? So I'd like you to think of the gentle art of self-care and self-healing like a roadmap to guide you throughout your self-care journey so that you can experience the gentle, loving, and caring energy of your higher self. Think of it as a how-to guide to self-care. Now, the other reason it's taken me four years and a few hundred thousand dollars to create the gentle art of self-care and self-healing, the trilogy, is that I decided that it had to be based on a specific, proven set of principles. So, why are principles important in the practice of self-care? Well, principles are based on power, on truth. Truth is undeniable. It's unmovable. It just is. Now, I've been personally obsessed my entire adult life with discovering and understanding the fundamental principles of life. Now, after I had been on my self-care journey for about a year, I made a decision to share what I'd been learning with the world. But before I did that, I made a personal commitment to myself to discover the driving principles and figure out a way to model it based on specific principles so that others could take it and actually apply it in their own lives. Now, for example, it's the principle of whole theory that states current flows from positive to negative and is what allows an electrical current to flow through a wire so that we can experience a light bulb illuminating our homes or powering our furnace. Now, you probably never heard of um, whole theory, but it's a principle that you can use, albeit unconsciously, every time you use electricity. 
you know, you don't need to understand whole theory to use electricity. However, it sure would help to understand whole theory if you were wanting to uh, make something that uses electricity. Well, guess what? The same thing is true in self-care. If you know there are certain principles driving your consciousness that make self-care work or inhibit your ability to practice self-care, then you'd be in a better position to create a program that you can actually practice and use. So what I've done in the general art of self-care and self-healing is to identify, test, and assemble a set of principles that you can apply to affect a shift in the quality of your personal life and your personal self-care. Now, I've created a number of frameworks, methods, and processes that you can use to pr either privately or with a friend. So what, are, what is a framework? Well, think of a self-care framework this way. They are a paint-by-numbers for self-care. Now, in paint-by-numbers, you're provided with the drawing or the outline, and you then you know, color in the outlines step-by-step. Uh, step. Now, the self-care frameworks I've created for you are your step-by-step -step outline that you can use to create your very own self-care lifestyle equilibrium activity program. Now I promise if you open your heart, follow the framework step-by-step -step, and be willing to be a bit creative and apply your own special colors, your own point of view, you will paint yourself into a corner and it'll be a corner where, it lived, where you're living life on your own terms, your life, your way. You will move from fear, anxiety, and frustration to self-awareness, self-responsibility, and self-acceptance. I think that that sounds like an inspired life. Well, to live an inspired life, you must first be inspired. Now, we all receive inspiration every single day. We don't often recognize the inspiration because, well, quite frankly, it looks like work. Or our self-talk or our ego hijacks our inspiration and converts it into a pity party or, well, you can't do that diatribe that robs us of our energy, drive, and determination. Well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way. There is another path, and it's found along the stepping stones of self-awareness, self-responsibility, and self-acceptance, which leads to the doorway of self-trust and self-love. It's my hope that you will join me February 9th in Red Deer for the inaugural release of the first in the series of the Gentle Art of Self-Care and Self-Healing. Why not make a decision right now to pave a new path towards the true you, your higher self, and experience a greater sense of equilibrium, serenity, and perhaps feel more comfortable in your own skin. So my name's Greg Dixon. I invite you to give me a call if you're interested or you'd like to learn more. My number is 403-307-8281. That's 403-307-8281. Or toll-free, 866-281-8281. And all the sessions are $150, but if you pay $100 by January 20th, 2013, you will save $50. So thanks very much for listening. I look forward to seeing you on February 9th. Have a great day.